presentation piece about the skull of the beloved filled with unlikely innocence, liver pate, tidbits in aspic. You were never anybody's lover should live in staterooms full of temporary homage. The corridor slants cradled on the crest of an earthquake. Far above, smokestacks proceed through badlands of snapped bridges. About the skull of the beloved, filled with a perilous remedy, sloshing into the corners of the damp eyes where you are reflected, twice, upside down. The last image before death is recorded photographically on the retina for half an hour. Prints can be made. The dark room is at the end of the corridor. These are worlds that were his thighs. You are the assisted purser translating and filing telegraphic messages. Arriving Thursday, 2 p.m., take another little piece of my heart now, baby, armed and awaiting signal before tides change. One of the messages may be for you. In an affluent society, cannibalism is a sexual predilection. That is not fresh meat. It was kept overnight in a tub of brine. Hand remembers the ribs wet parting, the heavy pulse on the palm. This is not the door to the engine room, though a pulse whines in the walls. Green velvet ropes enlace a green velvet chaise long beneath the purple jewels of the parvenu empress. Meet me tonight under your tongue. There is no easy way up. Bite on your lip. Do you taste what I do? A gold skewer pierces and joins his hands. The handle is a five-leafed rose. Let me live in your mouth. I know a place where the earlobe is imperfectly joined to the skull. At sunrise, we can look across the wasted sea for miles.